Welcome to our workout today on the Reformer. This is going to be a classical flow, and I'm going to say that and preface it also at the same time by saying it's classical to me because it's really going to just stick to those pure Pilates exercises without all of my creative variations. The actual like succession of one exercise after another may deviate a little bit if you want to look at like the pure, pure classical and kind of what is the order of one exercise after another. I just some sort of maybe preferring a certain flow. But um, that is what is gonna be today. I want it to be pretty vigorous and keep a good pace. So we're gonna see how we do and we're gonna start with our traditional footwork. So I want you to put your foot bar in the middle position, adjust your headrest for what is comfortable for you, and then you're gonna put on the springs that you like doing with footwork. I like to do three reds, which is three extra heavy and one medium um, spring. So you do what you want, and then let's go ahead and get started. It's chilly here today, but I hope, hopefully we'll warm up real quick. I expect to. Go ahead and come to lying down on your carriage. Let's start onto our toes in first position, heels together, toes apart. Here we go, take an inhale, exhale, press out, inhale in. Let's just take it for eight reps of each foot position here, good. I want you to think of lengthening through the spine, breathing into that upper back, expanding the rib cage sideways. One more time. Separate the heels, you're in parallel. Let's go out and in for eight. Think of pulling the kneecaps up nice and tight through the quads as you come to full knee extension all the way back there. For four more. Three, resist the carriage coming in, so make sure you work that eccentric part of the movement. Hold it all the way out. Let's go heels under, hand up, under, hand up, under, hand up. Articulating through the ankle, spreading through all those 10 toes. Take it for three more, and two, and one, bring it all the way in. Come onto the arches of your feet, curling your toes, trying to grip around that bar, stretching out the front of the foot as we go out and in for eight. That's it. Reach the sit bones for your springs. Take it for three more, two more, last one. Pull it in, come up onto your heels. We're in parallel, sit bones apart, flex those feet. We go out and in. Make sure the knees are tracking right over the middle of the foot. For five, and four, and three, and two. Last one, bring it all the way in. We're gonna bring the heels together, toes apart. We're still on the heels on the bar. We go out and in, squeezing that back line of the legs as we extend all the way out back there. As you extend out, you can bring your hands onto your low belly. Make sure that that stays nice and flat and the hips are open so the pelvis is not tucked underneath you here. You have a little breath space underneath the small of your back for three more. And two, and one. Bring it all the way in. Heels come wide to the corners of your bar. Take an inhale here, exhale, press out for eight. And seven, and six. Footwork is honestly one of my favorite things, although I don't do it that often, but I can just kind of zone out doing it. I can do it for like a ridiculous amount of time too. Come all the way back in. The one and last thing that's totally not classical is let's turn our knees in towards each other and we go out and in in an internal rotation here for eight. Good. So I'm limiting myself today so we move on to other things. Four and three, two, last one. Bring it all the way in. You're gonna drape your legs over your foot bar or you can hold them up into a tabletop. We're simply going to curl all the way forward and then we're going to adjust those springs. I suggest coming down to one heavy and one medium. We're gonna take it for um, into our hands in the straps here and I'm already gonna get rid of my sweatshirt. <laughs> nice and warm, it just took that little minute. Here we go, rolling it down. 
Make sure your shoulders have some space from those shoulder rests. You can press the carriage out with your legs and then come to tabletop here. Fingers are long. Here we go. We pull down and up. Shoulders are heavy here. Here we go. We pull down and up. Good. Make sure you're pulling the arms down. Kind of feel it from like underneath your armpits. Fingers stay long. The wrists stay nice and straight, so no cocking the wrists. That's it. Let's go for two and one. Hold the arms all the way down by your sides. Turn your palms to face your hips. We open wide to a T. Exhale, shut down towards those hips for six and five. The arms do not need to go above the shoulder level, so careful for that. They can just come to T for two more. One more. We're going to bring the arms all the way back up to the top. Open to a T. Pull them down to the hips, and we continue to circle in this direction for four. Pausing at each moment that you make a little change of direction. That's it. Bring it all the way back up to the top, and now we reverse for four. Pressing down, opening wide, lifting up to the top. Three more like that. Good. Pull that belly in. One more. Good. Arms come all the way back long down by your sides. We're going to bend the elbows and press. We're going to take it for eight of this little tricep press here. Keep those elbows floating just above your carriage. We take it for five and four and three and two and one, float the arms all the way back up. Take a nice big inhale here. We're gonna lift it up into our 100 position. Exhale, curl head, neck, and shoulders forward. Reach your legs long and come into a turnout end. We start our 100 here for inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna breathe it with you. Remember, you can always bend the knees in if you need. You can have them up straighter if it's bothering your low back, okay? Last half to go. Vigorous pumps for 30. And 20. And 10. and bring it all the way in and down. Beautiful. All right, I want you to go ahead and take your straps or your feet into your straps. Good. Keep the hips down. Let's bring the legs into a turnout. Heels together, toes apart. Squeezing those sit bones as you lower the legs down and float them back up. Lower them down, squeezing the back line of the legs the whole time, and float them up. We're just lowering and lifting for now. That's it, arms are long by your sides. Let's take it for four more. And three. And two. And one more. Bring it halfway up at about a 45. We bend for the frogs and press out. As you bend in, I want you to keep your, uh, your knees the width of your shoulders and no wider. Squeeze and press away for four and three and two and one. We're going to lift all the way up, legs in parallel. We come to a turnout, split the legs, open, circle down and together, and lift up. We come into our leg circles here. Again, keeping the hips down. We're going to go six in each direction. Three more here. Really rotate through that hip bone. So you turn out at the top, come down to parallel at the bottom, and squeeze back up. One more time in this direction. From the top we change, we press down, turn out at the bottom, open wide, circle back up to the top and squeeze together in parallel. You guys got it for five. Enjoy that stretch through your adductors, inner thighs, 
as you open and come back around to the top for three and two and one. Good. We're just going to throw in a couple long and short spines because we're here. So I want you to go ahead and put your headrest completely flat. Bring those toes just over your waistband. And we're going to peel our hips up all the way, coming up onto the shoulder girdle. We're going to open to hip width apart. And we're going to slowly lower down, keeping that carriage still, no movement. And then circle the legs wide, down together at the bottom. Pull back over the waistband, hold the carriage still. Still, here we go. We peel up, we open, we press and keep an even press in those straps as we come down. Hips down, circle, bring it back together, pull up to the top, and here we go. Peel those hips up one vertebra at a time, open wide, lower down with control. Keep the fronts of the shoulders open, circle, good. From there, we're gonna take it straight into our short spine, so your feet are gonna go back behind you as you peel those hips up, close the carriage heels together, split those knees over your shoulder rest. Let's take this whole piece and roll it down together. Heels come down towards your tail as you straighten the legs away. That's it. We're gonna go twice more like that. So we're just getting a little tiny taste of these two but not spending too much time in them either as we have a lot up for today. And one more. They're just so lovely, I felt like I couldn't leave them out. All the way down together. That's it. And push out. Now you're gonna bend your knees in. Slip your hands into the straps. Legs come to tabletop. Leave your headrest down. We are eventually coming into rollover, but right now we're going into our coordination. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl head, neck, and shoulders forward. Reach your arms long by your sides, and then you're gonna inhale. Bend your elbows. Here we go. We exhale, straighten arms and legs. Come to a turnout. Inhale, open the legs to the width of your carriage. Inhale, close the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, and inhale, bend the elbows. I'm gonna do that without talking, so I have air for it too. Here we go, we exhale. Two more. One more. This time it's the arms that open and only one, legs, one leg that's open. Inhale to prepare, exhale out. We inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Continue for four more. Rest your head down for just a second. I know I need it, and I'm not giving you a ton of explanation in those, so if you don't know them, it's as long as you're breathing. You're coordinating your breath with each movement and it's just a little bit complicated at first. But the last one we're gonna do is we'll be opening both arms and the legs. It's kind of a staccato type movement. We open, close, and then long pull in, long pull in. Okay, so here we go. Back into position. Bend the elbows to start. Here we go, we exhale out. Inhale, open. Inhale, close. Exhale, long pull. Inhale, long bend. And we go again. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good, and rest your head down. Make sure you have enough space behind your shoulders. We're going to be taking it into our roll over here. Hands stay in your straps. Go ahead and lift the legs straight up for the ceiling. Take an inhale here with an exhale, arms all the way down. Anchor them to the carriage as you roll the hips back and the legs just parallel over the floor. Flex the feet, open the legs hip width apart, roll it down nice and easy. When you hit mid back, you can let the arms lift, hips go down, legs circle away, and here we go again. That's it. Flex and open, roll down with control, don't let those shoulders 
pop off of that carriage. One more time like that. Flex and open, roll down. That's it, now we take it into our jackknife. Roll it all the way over first. Lift the hips and the toes up for the ceiling. Come back into your rollover and bring it down. Good. Twice more like that. If you want to go straight up into your jackknife, you can. And then rolling it down with control. One more time. That's it. And then slowly bring it down. Bend your knees in, rest your feet down on your foot bar, hang your straps up, guys. And we're gonna come all the way up to seated. Arms reach forward and just roll yourself up. Swing your legs around. You're gonna drop down to probably one medium or one heavy spring. Totally up to you. Um, we're doing our reverse kneeling abdominals. So, or wait, no, first we're doing our rowing. Do you like how I'm giving you like, Poor information here. Take your foot bar down. Let's all go on to one medium spring. Bring your legs out over your headrest here, long and straight. You can cross them. You don't have to cross them if you don't need that extra space. Bring your hands into your straps. Fists are pressing together in front of the sternum here. I want you to lift your sternum up, long back line of the spine. Take an inhale with an exhale. Scoop that belly. Start to roll it back behind you. Just to where you're about on the sacrum. You're gonna reach the arms forward. You're gonna bring it to a T as you dive nose over knees, hands clasped behind your back. And now you're gonna circle the arms up and forward and bring the fist right back in front of your sternum. Take an inhale here. We're gonna go through that five more times. Here we go. You're rounding back. Don't crumple down. Reach back through that spine. Arms reach forward. Palms press out and back. Hands behind you, clasp them, pull them back behind you. Scoop that belly up underneath you as you circle the arms back forward and restack the spine. Exhale. Let's make it nice and fluid. Good, keep those shoulders away from your ears. Circle forward, restock the spine for three. That's it. Clasp and reach, circle forward, restock for two. It's like you're scooping out your belly with those fists in front of you as you reach the arms behind you. Keep scooping out that belly in front of you. Restock the spine. One last time, scoop it back and reach and stroke all the way back behind you. Clasp those hands, reach them tall, circle them around forward and restock the spine. If you had your legs crossed, just uncross and recross so that you get kind of both <laughs> angles there. We're gonna go for our flat back rowing back so the elbows are just in front of you, level of the shoulders, fingers facing up. We're gonna hinge flat back behind us, so keep it long. Extend the arms long by your ears. Now lift all the way up, round over yourself, nose over knees, stroke your fingers towards the floor. Reach back behind you, clasp your hands, circle back around and forward, restock the spine, and bring the elbows right back in front of you into position. Here we go. We squeeze those glutes underneath us. We inhale back. We exhale, extend those arms long by the ears. Lift the spine up and forward, round over. As you stroke back behind you, clasp the hands. Circle back wide, around and forward, and restock. Let's take it for four more. Good. Nice and fluid. Work with your breath, restacking. Hinge for three. Good, if you find that this spring is too much, especially to extend your arms long by your ears, as you're hinged back there, you have two options. Drop down a spring, half a spring, or extend up and come forward that way instead of extending back, okay? Totally up to you. Last two. Circle around, lift it up, last one. 
Circle around and forward. Restack the spine and hang your straps up. Now we're doing our reverse kneeling abdominals. And for this, I know there are many people that prefer a medium spring. So if you were on a heavy and you want to pop down to a medium, go ahead and do that now. Bring your knees against your shoulder rest, hands onto your frame. Make sure you're not going to get stuck here with your thumbs inside your frame. Long spine reaching here. Reach your tail and your pubic bone back behind you. Pick your ribs up underneath you. Try and make this shirt not so baggy so it's easier to see. Inhale here, exhale. Pull those knees just under the waistband. Inhale back. Exhale. Don't let that carriage go to the stopper anymore. I want you to stay under that tension. Make sure the upper body isn't moving forward and back in space. We're not pulling the carriage open with the upper body, right? It's not this that's happening. Shoulders stay still over the arms and wrists. Go for two more. And one more. Good, now you may close your carriage. Change the spine, heavy the head, heavy the tail. I want you to really press your hips forward underneath you. Here we go, open that carriage off the stopper and now it's a little tuck of the tail to pull that carriage under. Don't sit back, it's just a tuck of the tail for four and three, two, and one. Good job, close your carriage. We're gonna go into a single leg. Reach the right leg straight behind you, pointing the toes. Do not list over to the left. Keep that spine nice and long as in the first one. And here we go, exhale, pull the left knee under and back. Under and back for four and three and two, that right arm should have extra pressure for one. That's normal. That means you're not listing. <laughs> go ahead and bring the right knee down. Reach the left leg long behind you. Here we go for six and five. Pull from your core for four, that inner oblique for three and two and one. Close your carriage. I want you to walk both your knees over towards the right side so the outside of the left knee comes against this right shoulder pad. Now reach the hands back into that square position. You're twisted from waistband below. Inhale here. Exhale. Pull those knees under for six. Don't close it to the stopper for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Close the carriage. Walk your knees over to the left. The outside of the right knee comes against the left shoulder block. Left knee squeezes against the right knee. Square those shoulders off to the floor below you. And here we go, guys. Under and back. And four. Three. And two. And one. And close your carriage. That was great. All right, you can go ahead and sit back. And I do need you to change your spring. I like to use... Um, one heavy and one medium. We're coming into our chest expansion in our thigh stretch. Okay, so again, this is a little bit dependent on height and weight. So take your hands into the straps, press the hips forward, reach the fingers down. We're going to just stroke the arms back and then just to the hips. Reach it back and hips. Back and hips, so we're staying always under that tension. Good, I want you to think of expanding the front crease of that, where that arm meets your chest and your torso. You're trying to open that up for five, and four, and three, and two, last one. All right, for this, um, thigh stretch. I'm actually going to allow us to take our fists because we're going to come into a little extension with this one. So bring your fists together and we're going to lean it back straight from the knees. So we're one long line, quads and chest, okay? And then just squeeze the glutes to lift back up and you can reach the arms or just kind of keep them here, okay? If you guys prefer leaning with the arms straight, you can totally do that, okay? This is just a different version. Here we go. Lean it back. Let's keep it straight for now. No extension back there for four. And three. Think of reaching long through the crown of your head 
for two and one. Now we add that extension back there. We're gonna hinge back with a flat back. We're gonna lift the heart and chest up and reach it all the way back forward as we restack. restack. If you want more tension, you can always choke up into your D-rings if you prefer. I'm gonna try this with long arms. Here we go. We're gonna hinge back flat, lift the heart up, reach the crown of the head back, and slowly come back up. Bring the fists in again, try it like that. Hinge back, come into your extension, reach the arms forward as you restack. I'm just totally playing with my arms right now, guys. We can keep it really simple. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kinda playing around. Let's go three more. Extension, and restack. Shoulders over hips, over knees. Two more times, hinge back. Come into that extension, chest up, and restack. One more time. Go with what feels good to your body here with the arms. Squeeze those glutes and bring it all the way back over top. Good, all right, from here, I literally wrote myself little um, notes of like my succession of what I wanted everything to be. So I want you to take off your medium spring, you're left with just your heavy spring. You're going to turn to face forward and we're coming into our seated rowing um, front, okay? So go ahead and bring your feet in front of you. They start on the platform, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. And then we're gonna bring our hands into our straps, see we move right off that platform. Elbows into your waistband, pull your toes towards your nose, fingers facing forward. This is our seating, seated tall, rowing front. Take an inhale, with an exhale, extend those arms along to eye level. Inhale, touch down. Exhale, lift it all the way up. Eat to the ears, inhale, circle wide, and tuck back into your waistband. Sorry, I lost my words on that. Here we go. We reach, we touch down, lift out of the low back. We float the arms up to the ears. We circle it wide and bend back in. We take it for four more. Reach, inhale, touch down, lift always the back line of that spine. Good. Just keep your breath going with each change of an arm movement. That's it. One more here. Tell me I didn't cheat us of one. Let's do one more just for extra credit. I feel like I might have missed, skipped one. If your hip flexors are starting to shake, that's normal in that position. We've got one more, we've got our rounded forward. Point your toes, hands to your um, carriage. Inhale here, nice and straight and strong. Exhale, round, nose over knees, sending your belly back behind you, reach your arms to your ears. Restack the spine, try and have little movement of the carriage as you sit back up tall. Touch those fingertips down, float the arms back up long by the ears, circle wide at your sides, hands down next to your hips. And here we go. Good. Touch down, float up, circle, hands to hips. We round over, we restack. Good. We touch down, we float up, circle, and we go right back. We round it over, we restack. Keep the heart lifted, back line of the spine long, circle wide at your sides, two more here. Lift it up, touch down, float the arms up to the ears, circle wide, one last time. We restack, touch down. I know the hip flexors are like, oh, circle, and you get to come into a crisscross position. If this is not available for you, you can always pop a little towel or a little moon block, um, yoga block underneath moon box, or yoga block, sorry, under, combine two things underneath your hips. That'll just decrease the amount of flexion that's happening in the hip here. That's usually where the problem is, okay? Or you can come up onto your knees, which will be just a more challenging position. We're gonna come into our serve a tray series. Inhale, and we exhale, extend the arms forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. 
and inhale bend let's go for five more we'll go six of each find a connection to your core as you draw those arms here back through space that's it take it for four and three and two one more keep that spine always lifted tall elbows in here we go we bring the elbows up fingertips come together just in front or below the sternum level and we're going to open wide and close and hug around that tree or I like to say a big beach ball or fit ball find the connection to the ribs pulling down towards the fronts of your hips as you bring them arms around and forward good for three more and two more keep those knees down don't feel them lift and one more let's come into our shave thumbs together right behind the crown of your head here lean it forward from the hips nice flat back and then we draw up on that diagonal for six and five four exhale as you extend those arms connecting the core for three and two and one arms come all the way back down and long by your sides you can hang up your straps here and I'm literally going to just spin around and I think we are going to be ready yes 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 to pick up our foot bar okay so you don't have to walk around like me I just did let's bring our foot bar up into the middle position we're gonna come for our long stretch series so I like to have the headrest all the way to the top and I like to use one heavy and one medium, which is one red and one blue for me. Go ahead and pick what you know and you're comfortable with. Hands come onto your foot bar. Swing one foot up, put the pad of that foot right in the divot between headrest and carriage. The other foot up and you're in your plank position. Heels are up and together here. Let's squeeze those glutes, pressing the hips forward. One long straight line from crown of head all the way to the heels, pushing back and pulling forward and through. Now don't pull to where your shoulders go farther forward than the wrists. That's just a lot I find on the wrists. So I go to where my shoulders are just over the wrists and then push back again. Good, breathing for four and three and two and one bring your carriage in bring your feet against your shoulder rest and your knees down press your hips all the way forward to your foot bar and lift your chest up for your down stretch we push down and back and lift up I always think of this as if I'm pulling myself up out of the deep end of a pool so you want to have that strong press of those shoulder stabilizing muscles down against that bar which is what keeps the upper body lifted so you're not sinking into your lumbar spine take it for four more and three strong through your glutes the whole time two and one pull it all the way in sit it back towards your heels and you're going to lift up with your heels halfway up your shoulder Rest, keeping your carriage closed, pike your hips, we're ready for your up stretch. We're going to press back, come back into that long straight line in your plank, pull forward and through, tuck your chin in towards your chest, round your upper back, mid back, and pike it all the way back, closing your carriage. Here we go, let's take it for four in this direction. Undulating that spine, really breathing through each piece of movement scooping your core underneath you good last one in this direction now we reverse keep your carriage closed round your spine from bottom all the way up to top come shoulders over wrists and then press back as in the long stretch now we're gonna pike to close reaching the sit bones up towards the ceiling closing your carriage tuck the tail round the spine up and forward and push back and pike to close pressing the chest towards those toes and rounding up and forward for two more pressing back and pike to close one last one round it up and forward 
press back long and straight and pike to close. We're going to take it into our arabesque. Let's reach the left leg all the way up behind you. You can totally open that hip if you want. We're going to press out and come down into that plank, lowering the leg, lift the leg as you close the carriage. If you guys know this one, here we go. Let's take it for five more on this side and four. Good. And three, pressing the shoulders back, lifting the hips and leg, and then bringing the shoulders forward and lowering the hips for two. And one, lift it all the way back and close your carriage. Bring your left foot back down and your right leg reaches back behind you. Here we go, we press out, lower those hips, bring the shoulders forward, and then close the carriage for six. And five and four. Good, really pull that quad up in the front as you come to the home position for three. And two. Last one. Close the carriage, bring your right foot all the way back down. You can step all the way down and then to the center of your carriage and then let's just bring it down onto the floor. Good job, you guys. All right, grab your long box. We're gonna put it up. You might wanna put your, your foot bar down first, so that's out of the way. And then we're gonna put our long box up. There we go. You position it however you want. I know some of you, depending on your carriage, you might prefer it over your shoulder rest, but you know your carriage best, better than me. Let's bring that headrest flat so it's out of our way. And we're taking it into our pulling straps. So probably a general standard would be your one heavy spring, or depending again on height and weight, you might go with one medium spring. So you guys choose what you want for that, and then come to line on your stomach facing your straps. That's it, okay. Chest on or off, I'm gonna leave that one up to you. Totally about comfort level for me on that. Slip your hands through your loops and then hold onto the ropes just above your D-rings. Here, let's reach forward through the crown of the head, back through your toes, so point your toes. Squeeze your heels together and we're gonna reach down and all the way back and down and forward. And down and back. I really want you to focus on the down and not just the pullback because that will help set your shoulder blades how they need to be and should be tracking back behind you, okay? I have a lot of people who tend to want to do a little elbow bend here or simply want to skip that sort of reach down through there. Let's go for three more. And two. And one more, hold it all the way back here. Turn your palms to face the floor as you open your arms to a T. Now as we pull back to the hips, lift your heart up and forward. Lower down, reach to the crown of the head as you open the arms wide, and then lift up as the arms pull back for five more. And four. And three. And two. On one, we hold this posture here. Just bend the elbows and press it back for your tricep press for five more. And four. And three. And two. And one. Reach the arms all the way down, long and forward, and hang your straps back up. I know that feels fast for our pulling straps, and we can definitely hang out there longer and <laughs> burn it out a little bit more, but we're kind of moving fluidly through different exercises here. So let's get up, turn your box to your short box. Being with me, you guys, if you liked this workout, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Come over to my website at goneadventuring.com if you're interested in more fully Length workouts or live classes each week. Join us. Let's do this together at any time from anywhere. I'll see you soon.